Hey guys, Chris Dick here. Um, today we're going to be talking about deploying our web application to uh, Microsoft Azure. And um, there's a few things that we want to set up before we go into uh, doing the web publish feature in Visual Studio. <clears throat> These features can, however, be done in Visual Studio, um, but it's hard to understand what's actually happening. So I wanted to go through it um, you know, behind the scenes here so we would understand what, where things end up and why they end up there. All right, so if we go to uh, creating an SQL server, right now I have two SQL servers sitting here, okay? If I want to create an SQL server, um, one of the things that, uh, that SQL server, in this case, uh, they want everything to be, all the names to be in lower case. So we'll complain at you if there are some things uh, wrong with the naming conventions there is a problem with it there so we're going to call it uh, game manager videos dot database dot windows dot net all right and <clears throat> I'm going to call it uh, I'm going to call my username uh, game manager and then I'll throw in a password and you can use whatever password you choose uh, and whatever password you feel comfortable with okay my subscription I'm going to stay as pay as you go. This is probably the one that you'll have, so I'll keep with that. And uh, the the uh, resource group that I'm going to create is Game Manager Videos. Okay, I'm going to stay consistent with uh, with my name uh, naming of uh, all of my my pieces here. Okay, I'm going to look for East, and I'm looking for Canada East in this case. <coughs> so let's just review. What we have here is uh, the server name that we're creating. We've got our administrative credentials that we're uh, setting up, the subscription we're going to use, and then the resource group that we're creating, and then where the resource group is located. Uh, we're going to click on Create, and that'll take a couple minutes to create. So what, um, what I will do is uh, go into our Visual Studio now, and now that I've got uh, I've got the important things set up and ready to go, I can now uh, go ahead and uh, begin my publish process. So it was just the database server that I uh, I wanted to have prepared. I'm going to actually create the database now within the app service. Okay, so from here we can we, we're going to be using the uh, Microsoft Azure App Service. We will also do a video later on uh, for uh, import profile. Uh, the import profile is uh, a bit unique because what it allows you to do is create a uh, some of the free tier services within Azure, and then use the publish profile. Uh, to continue moving forward on that. So we're going to use uh, this service here. We're going to use the uh, app service for uh, the web app publishing. And I'm going to call this Game Manager. And <coughs> call it Game Manager Videos. We'll stay consistent. Eh? Uh, the subscription is going to stay as pay as you go. Our resource group is here. That we, this is the one we've just created, all right. And the app service plan. Um, now, your app service plan can be um, can be a few different things. Okay, so I'm going to call this uh, game manager. Let's call it game manager videos just to stay consistent. I'm going to keep my uh, location is going to be Canada East. Okay. Now you'll notice here it defaults to S1. As the size of our database okay we don't want that we're gonna go for a shared resource for now if we press OK um, now there's a couple things that that we want to consider here okay there's a free resource and there's a shared resource we're gonna go with shared and we're just gonna see what happens here because sometimes it gets a little funky and I want you to see a few errors that come up and, uh, and just understand why and where things are happening okay now services we want to create an, uh, an SQL database. So we pull up our SQL server. And you'll notice that our Game Manager Videos server has already appeared. And that's because we're in the right resource group. Our app 
database and our application in this case uh, as we're publishing should be in the same resource group. If it is, then uh, it won't have any trouble uh, recognizing the databases there. If it's if the, if the database doesn't show up, it's just because you chose the wrong resource group. Okay. I'm going to call my database uh, Game Manager Videos DB. That's fine. The default default connection string is uh, is a default connection, and that's the one that's labeled in your web config. So we'll press OK here. All right. So right now we have a resource group called Game Manager Videos that uh, is in the App Service Plans section here, and uh, SQL database to set up. So if we press OK or Create, I should say. Uh, this will take a couple of minutes to create, and in the meantime, we'll uh, pause this and uh, move forward. Okay, now once the app is up and running, we can't do anything yet because we actually haven't run any of our, uh, our migration scripts on it. So we have to go back to Visual Studio for a moment and just uh, adjust some of the settings, okay? So although it published our, our, uh, our app, it's still not quite ready for, for use. All right, so we're going to go to the settings area <coughs> and we'll go to the next here. And what it's going to do is fill in our uh, data context connection string. And that's the connection strings that it will use to run the resource or the, uh, the uh, migrations. If I check that off, uh, to execute code first migrations. What it's going to do is uh, once this is up and running, it's going to execute those code first migrations and then build our database for us. So if we go ahead and push the publish button, uh, it's going to build the application. And because it's already built, it doesn't have to do a whole lot. Now all we have to do is actually uh, register a user. Now consider that this is a live database, okay? So this would be like your live product, okay? It would be the one that um, your customers would be using, okay? And uh, you want to be mindful of when you uh, when you you create something up here, this is live and could be seen by everybody. So you want to be thinking about that. So we'll click on register. <coughs> now what this is going to do. So it's going to create a, a user in the database, and then once that user is created as well, we um, we can now, because all the scripts have been run, we should be able to go into our games table here, and uh, because we also had some uh, seed actions run, we now also have our genres added in as well. Okay. And so far, everything's working pretty well. So we'll throw in a couple with empties, throw some with every genre set up there. Let me do like that. Okay. So we're looking pretty awesome there. We'll log off, close up a couple of these things. So let's just explore some of our uh, Azure uh, settings here that we've added. So we have our Game Manager Videos server. All right. If we go into SQL Databases, we're also going to see that we ha have our game manager videos added, okay? And if we go into our uh, app services, we're going to see that we have our uh, game manager videos uh, app added, okay? Now let's just take a look at what we've got here as well. We've got our uh, game manager videos app service plan. All right, the location is Canada East and we're using the pay as you go subscription. Okay, now let's um, let's really dig in and understand what we've got in our database here. So, our pricing tier scale, as I mentioned, is a, we set up as a shared. Okay, and um, that's okay. But what we want to make sure is that we are uh, we are reducing our costs as much as possible because really this is just for us to learn here. So let's go to let's scale this down to basic. Okay. And if you missed how I got there, guys, um, I clicked on pricing tier scale DTUs. Okay. And um, we really don't need all that, all that storage. So we'll cl click on apply. Now the monthly cost will show us $6.07. Um, if you're a student, 
and you know you are having some trouble I would definitely recommend um, you know making sure that you either shut down your database as quick as possible after you've uh, gone through this or uh, talk to Microsoft and uh, you know beg them for uh, uh, for some help on ensuring that uh, it doesn't cost you a fortune to try to use this service okay they're usually very uh, very good with uh, with students and uh, um, sort of let's call it open source developers so I would talk to them um, all right the next thing that we want to do okay is we can use the uh, the service here as well to create um, another type of app service and we can do that within uh, Azure now this service will allow us to um, generate a uh, a web app plus SQL and the SQL will go into the free tier now if we click on create here once we've uh, I'd clicked on uh, web app plus SQL all right um, I'm gonna call it uh, game manager videos free okay we'll keep our pay-as-you-go subscription that's okay nothing wrong with that and we're also going to use our resource group um, called uh, Game Manager F Videos. We'll just use whatever resource group it uh, it creates. You can use an existing one as well. That's fine. You may have uh, something particular that works best. Um, we'll use the app service plan that it's uh, providing us. However, um, <coughs> actually, you know what? I'm going to take you through creating an app service plan here. The reason is because what it was about to do is create a uh, has put us into another standard pricing tier, and we do not want that. If you notice, all the expensive stuff is at the top, and the uh, free shared service is right here, so it's at the bottom. And then the location again, I'm choosing Canada East. You may choose whatever is closest to you. Okay, and we're going to call this Game Manager videos free okay everybody likes free we click OK all right our SQL database I'm going to create a new database and this again will be called game manager videos free target server server we're going to use the server that we created earlier which is game manager videos okay so we don't need to worry too much about that oh looks like we can't because it doesn't exist in the uh, in the same uh, resource group so let's just uh, play around with this game manager videos free once again I'm going to call this game manager and I'll throw in a password that makes sense to me. All right, location is Canada East, and we'll click on select. All right, pricing tier. Be sure to pay attention to this one. We want free, okay? And uh, it, you're, in other words, this is not designed for heavy workflow, okay? So that's fine. Let me push select. Okay, we now have our our uh, uh, SQL database set up. Everything looks pretty good. We're going to click on create now. Now it's going to go through the process and create that uh, web app for us. Um, it will also, um, once we are up and running, we will be able to uh, pull in any of the uh, uh, information related to that uh, to, to that web app including the database information and we're going to pick up that in a moment okay that deployment is created we're going to go into our game manager videos free okay and what we have to do here is download the publishing profile so we just type cl click on get published profile and for this, we're going to, I'm going to put it into my desktop. So I have it uh, right here. And I'm just going to save it into my application folder that I've been using. Okay. Now, 
Over here in our uh, publishing uh, area, I, um, I I want to uh, I want to take away um, this publishing profile because um, it uh, is not what I want to use right now. I'm going to be using what I've just created for you. We're going to click on this arrow arrow here and then click on import profile. Okay, we click on publish and it asks us where is this publish uh, profile located. We're going to go find it and it was in my desktop folder. I click on open. Okay, then it asks me for the settings. Uh, or it doesn't ask me for the settings, but I'm going to go into the settings and uh, start looking at uh, how things are set up there. We uh, have our uh, data context, which is automatically filled in to, for us as well. I'm going to execute our code first migrations on start. I'm going to save that. Now, if you recall, because right away it wants to just publish the app, and that's not exactly what we want. Okay. Um, now we've got it all set up. We can now click on publish, and that should do all of the stuff that we wanted to do. Okay, and remember we started fresh from a brand new database, so I am going to um, create a new user. Okay, click on register. And this will create our uh, database for us here. Once again, we'll test that it uh, that it worked by going into games and creating a couple new games. And here we have it, looking pretty good so far. Brand new database, my migrations all run, and everything worked the way they were supposed to do. Thanks for watching today, guys. I really appreciate all the interactions and commentary that you give me after I post a video, so please keep it coming. Remember to like and share, and please do subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.